Howdy howdy this is Crafty Grinding back again with an arena cutout video for a Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I cover round 1 results for the Abomination and Iceman arenas. Then uh, considering those results as well as past results of similar arenas, I uh, use that uh, data to come up with a round 2 prediction as well as my thoughts on what a good safe grind target would be on top of those predictions. And again this is all for the veterans brackets. I do put a little information at the end regarding the beginners and intermediate brackets but this for the most part a lot of this content deals with the veterans bracket. And again veterans brackets if your account has been uh, open for over 61 days. So in terms of the round one results you can see that uh, we had a couple surprises. Um, we knew that Iceman was going to push the all-time high and he very well that cutoff went to, to a new all-time high but I think what was more surprising was the four star feature abomination arena a lot of people are saying oh he's gonna go real low a lot of people are gonna focus on Iceman so that first round first four star feature arena cutoff for that would be pretty low but in reality it's actually higher than we see for a lot of old chance for the first round and I'll show you what those graphs look here shortly um, but for the top 10% that came in at 4.4 million again with the top 800 cutoff coming in at 7.85 million then we get to the four star basic Iceman arena you can see that he set the new all-time cutoff high now for the first round we're looking at 6.81 before it was Hyperion at 6.4 now Iceman has that crown and then the 11 to 25 percent tier came in at 1.71 million and then lastly with the three star feature again this number was a little bit higher than expected um, this is even higher than most trends for old champions in the first round with abomination coming in to, at 690 with the 11 to 25 percent coming in at 463 so there actually ended up being some abomination love out there um, people either wanting to fill up their rosters um, or just wanting to dupe maybe an ab abomination they already had whatever the case he did better than a lot thought um, in uh, the first round so when we compare this to what actually the trend predictions were looking like, you can see that all those numbers, again, were quite low. Now, the Abomination 4-star feature, I'll go ahead and say that number did, I, I pr projected that lower than even the, the trend, just because uh, there didn't seem to be at the beginning anybody expecting any love for Abomination, plus the Iceman first round um, had a lot of people thinking, including myself, that the, the focus would be there and on Abomination. Well... Now the three star feature again, that one was real close, but the even the four star or basic with Iceman at 6.4, he came in closer to 6.8. So these while close, the, the four star basic and three star feature, they were lower than the actual cutoffs. So those um, are also incorrect predictions. And now just to, to kind of highlight even further with the unexpected four star feature, you can kind of see there with the last couple old chants with Electro Agent, Venom, and Val Falcon, those numbers, those cutoffs all coming in around 7 million with Falcon a little bit under that. And um, Abomination came in uh, much closer to 8 million. So there was an, a million dollar, a million dollar, not a million dollar, but a million point um, difference than what was kind of expected based off of the trends. And not a million, but close to a million anyway. And then lastly, when you come over here and look at Iceman, the 6.4 prediction was kind of staying on that slope, that line that you see there between the Hood, Dormammu, and Archangel, or Archangel in terms of high interest four-star basic champs. But Iceman interest even drew it even higher, higher than the expected kind of increase, which is why that 6.8 was not in the prediction. So with all this data, plus looking at some past trend, what can we think about for round two? Well, let's take a look at some of the, the, the past similar arenas. First, looking over on the left here at the four-star feature, you can see with Agent Venom, Falcon, and Crossbones, round two was always higher than round one. Uh, went a million higher for Agent Venom, Falcon, it went up about 600,000, and Crossbones went up to another 600,000. So I think we're going to see probably with Abomination, somewhere in that 500 to 600,000 range, very similar to Falcon and Crossbones. When you look at some of the lower tiers, um, to the top 10%, as well as the 11 to 30%, they go a little bit higher as well from round, round one to round two um, in both cases. When we go over here to the middle graph, when you look for the four-star basic, you can see um, with the last two examples of Dormammu and Archangel, um, the actual second round results were lower than the first round results. With Dormammu, you're looking at almost 500,000. With Archangel, you're looking at um, about what is about oh, 900, 800, 900,000 kind of thing. So there's a uh, a good drop off was for Archangel. I don't think 
um, based off the entrance with Iceman, you'll see just as big as Archangel, probably be somewhere between Dormammu and Archangel. And in terms of the 11 to 25 percent tier, that's pretty flat, um, roughly maybe 100,000 point difference. Now, when you look over here in the three star feature, similar to the four star feature, first round is always lower, second round is always higher. In this case, though, since we're dealing with the three star feature arena, you're dealing like 30,000, 40,000, not hundreds of thousand like we were seeing with the four star feature. So, with all this in consideration, and then also, what is interesting though, uh, unlike the other two arenas, the three star feature arena, that 11 to 25 percent line continues to go up about 20 to 30,000 every time, which is a very interesting development. Something to kind of keep in mind for uh, round two here for the three star feature arena. So, in terms of predictions, I think uh, we, we've seen with round one to round two for four star feature, that number jump up. He was at 7.8. If you give it that, uh, not even 600,000. If you just go up, you know, a, a couple hundred thousand, you're at 8.4 million. So, we'll go with that 8.4 million uh, number with the top 10% at 4.3. And if you're interested in that 11% tier, you better go to about 2.1 million. And then for Iceman, I think you're going to see a decline, but you're not going to see a huge decline. 500,000 is uh, kind of like on the low end. You saw with Archangel, there was almost a million. It was like 900,000 drop. I don't think we're going to see a 900,000 drop with Iceman. I think instead we'll see in the 500, 400,000 range. So that's why I'm putting that prediction at 6.3 with 11 to 25% coming at 1.7 million. And then lastly, for the three star feature, we saw that increase 20 to 30,000 for Abomination going to 725, 725,000 with 11 to 20 25 percent making a decent 20,000 jump to 490,000 so these again are for the veterans bracket um, or veteran bracket I should say not veterans but veteran bracket and uh, so those are the predictions based off of the past trends and what we saw from round one these are just estimates again kind of trend line analysis if you want to be safe and you really want these champs these are kind of the grind targets that I recommend if you really want abomination you better go to 8.7 million if you want that top 10% for the four star feature, better go to 4.6. And if you really want the 11% tier, you better go to 2.3 billion. When we come over to Iceman, just in case there isn't a drop off, you, you might even want to go to 6.8, 6.9. But in re reality, I think we're going to see a drop a little bit. So you might, you should be safe with 6.6 .6 million. And with the 11 to 25% tier, I think if you really want to make sure to get that tier, you better go to 1.8 million. And then lastly, for the three star feature, if you want Abomination, you better go to 730, 730 thousand with the letter 25 percent at 510,000 so again those were for the veterans this this these this grind target or these grind targets I should say are for the veteran bracket if you want to look at some just rough ranges for the beginner to intermediate bracket and this is based off of input recently from community members as my own personal kind of observations as I took a, a newer account through these uh, brackets recently um, abomination three star feature 245,000 in beginner iceman four star basic roughly around 900,000 with abomination four star feature around a million when you get to the intermediate bracket uh, abomination three star feature at 500,000 the iceman four star basic coming in around 1.5 to 1.6 million with the abomination four star feature at 700,000 again this these um, these ranges are very rough ranges, even rougher than the uh, the veteran bracket prediction, just because of the lack of past results data that I have to uh, kind of make these estimates on. So um, those out there in the community with newer accounts and have some arena results to share, would love to uh, get that information. If you could throw it in the comment section, I'd really appreciate it. Speaking of the comment section, um, would love to hear any questions or uh, any dialogue, any comments, thoughts, etc. on round two or even round one. I mean, unfortunately now it looks like we are now now pushing higher and higher cutoffs every time we uh, get either new four star feature or basic champ we got spider-man coming in January I know he's gonna push Iceman there might even be another champ between now and then to push Iceman for the new cutoff but the days of no longer going to five million or even six million for four star basic are now over unfortunately and it looks like we're back in that high number so uh, but anyway would love to hear your thoughts about that in the comment section uh, plus again any questions you may have and if you like this uh, video, I really appreciate you clicking that thumbs up like button. And if you like this video and others that I have in the channel, would really appreciate a subscribe. Other than that, thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.